So here I am in a taxi in Bangkok. Um, going to Damwang Airport. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, but I'm going to the airport to fly out to Phuket. Uh, and yeah. Initially I was going to take the SkyTrain, the BTS, uh, but I got out a little late. One thing I always do is I always opt to use the meter. Taxi drivers will try to bargain with you and you end up losing money. Um, now, if, if you're taking a taxi, like I got on to two toll, tollways already. So the first one I got was 30 baht and this one that I got on was 70 baht. Um, I always opt to pay the toll booth on my own versus chunking it all together at the very end because you, know, you can't really count it. And you, that's why I always take the sky train. It's just easier and I can control it and it's cheaper. Um, and I know I'm gonna be safe. I don't have to worry about my safety. Um, but sometimes it's a hit or miss with taxis as well as tuk-tuks. Um, yeah. When I'm taking taxis and tuk-tuks, I will always pop open my Google Maps. Uh, that's a good safe way to figure, to know where you're going and to kind of validate what the drivers are telling you. Um, so I always kind of follow along with Google Maps and that's what I recommend anyone to use and to do. Um, requires being online and having a SIM card. Uh, but you can follow your, follow the route along and kind of get an idea of what the city is like and how the freeways run and all that stuff. I think it's just helpful and useful to, to do that. Another traveler's tip is, um, if you feel uncomfortable in any way, stop or tell the driver to stop the vehicle and get out and find another taxi. Um, it's always better to be safe than sorry and to trust your gut. If, you trust, if your gut says that something's kind of funny and you don't like the way you feel um, and you feel like you're being pressured by the driver or you feel like maybe they might be having unsavory thoughts, then it's always best to just have the pull on the side, get out, hail a new taxi. Here we are arriving at Danwang Airport. Safe and sound. Probably took around 40 minutes to get here. And that's what Google Maps said. Um, but 40 minutes is pretty good. So, I finally arrived at Don Wong Airport. My driver, um, he just left. When he stopped here, he didn't stop the meter. That's something to always take note of. He didn't stop the meter and so it kept on running because I noticed that's the second time it's happened to me. Some of them don't stop their meter and when they don't stop it and you you know pay and you ask for change, that meter's still rolling. So I mentally saw that it stopped at 269. Uh, so I gave him 270. I wanted my buy. One, in Bangkok there is no real, there's no such thing as tipping. Two, he tried to scam me and I wasn't about to reward that at all because that was a good 10-15 minutes of my time stressing over whether or not I should leave that taxi and find a new one or like what the fuck I was gonna do. I was kinda, I was kinda stressed. Now what I didn't tell you in the taxi was that my driver was actually trying to scam me initially when I jumped in and everyone had told him that I was coming to Dom Wang Airport. He asked if I was Thai. And when I told him that I wasn't Thai and that I didn't speak it, that's when he proceeded to tell me that my fare to this airport would cost 500 baht. That he could give it to me for 500 baht versus using the meter. And I told him that I wanted him to use the meter and that I would pay for the toll. That was fine, with the exception that he wanted to stop over and use the bathroom without stopping the meter. When I told him that I wanted him to stop the meter when he took a leap, he told me that he was going to charge me 500 baht. So in that case, I told him that no, you can't use the bathroom and just keep driving. So he had to hold it. I don't know if that part was a scam or not, but yeah, he was looking for any way to charge me 500 baht to get to this airport. So that's the fun thing about taking taxis in Bangkok is you always have to be on your toes. Not every taxi driver is going to try and scam you, but you do have to be aware of the possible scams and that you might encounter them. Now this can go for any taxi around the world actually. I'll be needing to use my street smarts to get around wherever I go. Well, thanks for joining me again today. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up subscribe to my channel and until then travel safe smart fun and be the girl be with you